Hi guys, I'm Blue, and today we're watching Scrooged from 1988. All right, I am keeping the Christmas vibes, obviously. Um, so yeah, I think I actually don't know because we only ter celebrate Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but I think like. There's like a uh, first day of Christmas, second day of Christmas, so on. I don't know if the 21st counts as anything, but you know, here we are in a pretty festive mood and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So, you know, I hope that you enjoy this and um, Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Um, so this, um, apparently it's a Bill Murray movie, but I don't really know. <laughs> Um, hold on, maybe Google will tell me. Bill Murray. I don't think I've seen him anywhere yet. Maybe I have, maybe I'm just really bad with faces, but um, he looks very familiar. I might have seen him somewhere without knowing it's him, which is completely plausible. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It looks like a comedy. Um, so, you know, let's have some fun. Um, if you would like to see the full reaction, you can do that on Patreon from the link in the description. And also, for early access to my videos on YouTube, you can become a member on YouTube. And don't miss out my very special holiday stuff on OnlyFans. There will be premium content from all the photo shoots that I'm going to do this month for Christmas and New Year's. So, also, there is still a promotion available um, for you to get the subscription at a discount. So, don't miss out. And on Instagram, of course, you can follow me there for some free teasers and, um, you know, you can check a little bit of those photo sessions that I'll be posting on OnlyFans there for free. Um, so if that's anything that you're interested in, check it out. There's also going to be stories and so on. Um, and if you're interested in DMing me and texting me, OnlyFans is the place to go. You can DM me there and we can have a little chat or whatever you like, you know. I am open to everything, so just pop in and say hi. I'll be expecting you and let's go. Let's check it out. It's all snowy and Christmassy. Last year we didn't get any snow on Christmas. This year, I don't know if we're going to have snow on Christmas. Times are changing. Back in the day, it used to snow in October, you know? Is it Santa's workshop? Oh no! What is this? They're being bombarded! No, who's bombing Santa? What is going on? Why are they shooting at Santa? Oh my god, Santa, what is this? <laughs> what? I didn't expect that from Santa. It's Lee Majors, the six million dollar man. Santa is is back way out of this place. Of course there is Lee. You've been a real good boy this year. Yes, you sure have. I don't know what to expect anymore. What is he giving people? Show me the Scrooge promo. Oh! Straight to the point. It's a cold, bleak Christmas 10 o'clock. IBC presents live via satellite from New York. Bethlehem, Helsinki, West Berlin, and the Great Barrier Reef. Charles Dickens' immortal Christmas classic, hosted by Sir John Houseman. <laughs> I'm so glad I watched the Christmas Carol. It's referenced so much. And now I know. Oh my gosh. Does that suck? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. In comparison to the other ones, it was actually pretty mediocre. Oh my god, <laughs> that just got dark. I am the youngest president in the history of television. He's a president, a okay. I know the people. Well, 
Well, uh, granted, but the people already want to watch the show. Yeah, that isn't it's... good enough. We don't want to scare the dickens out of people. Yeah, see what he did the there. The dickens out of people. Nobody gets me. <laughs> I get Grace, you. Who is that guy? I shouldn't be proud of that. Okay. Call security. Have them change his locks, clean on his desk, and toss him. Call security. Have them change his locks, clean on his desk, and toss him out of the building. Oh, he's fired? No. It's Christmas. Thank you. Call the county. Stop his bonus. Oh my God, he's so mean. It's crap. Lose it. I don't want on the wall. Oh no. She's an amazingly understanding woman. I'll just come home and I'll say, Hi, hon. Um, we have to move to a studio apartment. I hope you don't mind. No. Okay, read me the list. I want to get. We spend four billion dollars on pet food alone. Four. Now I have here a study from Hampstead University. Which shows us that cats and dogs are beginning to watch television. Now, if these scientists are right, we should start programming right now. So in 20 years, they could become steady viewers programming ah. for cats. Yeah, it's a thing. Walk with me, Frank. Well. Oh. <gasps> Is he anticipating an accident? He's so salty and grumpy. What is he doing? Grace, I need a full report on a guy named Bryce Cummings. He's an LA slime ball. Okay, um, you're doing Helsley Pass at 7 o'clock, and I'm going to leave. I'm going to take it Saturday. No, you're not. You're staying here with me. We're working late. Why don't you take my son to the doctor? Grace, when I work late, you work late. But I made the appointment two months ago. I care. We're indivisible. If I'm working late, you gotta work late. If you can't I work care. late, I can't work late. If I can't work late, I can't work late. Come on, all family will be there. It'll be fun. Look, you can have your concern and wonderful dinner with all your cool friends and the, the real popcorn on the tree and cranberries and everything. Yeah. Send Christmas cards to each other on recycled paper. It's a crock, James. It's for kids. You know, I like seeing I like being with you. I want you to have a happy new year. He is so much like Scrooge. He hates Christmas. He is, uh... His pocket strings are too tight. Wow, so generous. <gasps> he left it there. Was that by accident or he just didn't care for it at all? Yes, come for him. Come for him. <laughs> That's what the sound effects. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Jesus! Ah, it's coming back in there! Oh, no! Damn. 
tops. Frank. Oh. Frank. The compliment. Big trouble. Look at me. Look at your future. Now, if you don't change your ways, you're gonna wind up doomed, just as I am. <laughs> One minute, I'm on the fourteenth hole at Wingfoot, lining up a putt. A Did he die because of a? Oh. No, no, no. I thought a golf ball hit him in the or something. That's what Scrooge thought. Oh. <laughs> so this is like a parody, basically. As far as I can understand. He doesn't care. Oh no, hold on. He cares. Oh my god. He just melted the glass! Oh my god. Ah! I don't need to see this! Okay, he just, he's gonna Neo, he's gonna pull a Neo, oh okay, yeah, well, practically. What? He's just chilling in his chair. Watching your Scrooge promo last night, and she just she just keeled over. It scared her to death. He killed a woman. Oh my God! This is terrific. I knew that had worked. You can't buy publicity like this. Ah! What? Excuse me. What? I didn't know the guy. You can go shake a tail feather. Thanks. And thank you. You can just go. Watch out. Oh! What are these dancers? Get the nurse. Get the nurse. Make sure her nipples are covered up, will you? Hi. I'm sorry to just. Well, I didn't get your message until this morning, and I, I tried to call, but they said that you were you weren't in yet, and then I tried to call back, and they said that you were busy, so I just. I came across your number, and I just had to call you immediately. I know you, Lumpy. I know that voice. That was the frightened Lumpy I heard. Excuse me, Lumpy. Is that her sis Ralphie his sister? People call me Mr. Cross. I'm sorry, I'm new here, and I got a problem. I bet. What? Well, my problem is this little fella. <laughs> I can't get the antlers glued on to this little guy. We've tried crazy glue, but it don't work. Have you tried staples? Staples? Don't you dare. If you staple that little mouse, I'll call the Humane Society. I'm not kidding. I wouldn't do anything in the world to hurt this little fellow. Hey, Marley, Perkins. The I mean, gluing has... something oh, to his head seems... Story. Tell Reader's Digest, will you? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Well, maybe you'll answer some questions downtown, huh, my friend? What the hell is huh? going on? This is my little boy. All right, you beat him. Does he work here? No, he does not. I thought How does a woman like her associate with a man like this? Anybody having fun here? Why are you so angry? Why haven't you ever learned how to button a coat? So I've taken the liberty of hiring somebody to work with you. Oh, great. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, he is rejoicing. I realize 
realize this is coming at you pretty damn fast, but I want you to understand that my only function here is to take some of the burden off your shoulders. A lot of men in your He doesn't like it. It's only natural. I don't understand why. I'm sorry. You know, I thought you were rich. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that make it better? I thought you were rich. No! <laughs> it gets worse. Oh no! He keeps seeing stuff that isn't there! Guess who? Oh, it's real this time! Oh my god! This ghost is a menace to society! Wow! Ghost of Christmas Past. There we go. Ghost number one. I gotta say, the one in the Christmas Carol was much nicer. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh my god! Well, he's a ghost, he can't die! Whoa! These decorations, though, it's so lovely! Whoa! <laughs> Christmas lights yet. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Frank, it's Christmas Eve. I get it. You're taking me back in time to show me my mother and father, and I'm supposed to get all goosey and blubbery. Well, forget it, pal. You got the wrong guy. That's exactly what Ooh, I'm going okay. But when he saw his mother, Niagara Falls. What? <laughs> Here, Francis. I've got something for you. Merry Christmas. A choo-choo train? No, it's five pounds of veal. But Daddy, I have Santa for choo-choo. Then go out and get a job and buy a choo-choo. Ah, oh, Earl, he's only no. four years old. All day long, I listen to people give excuses why they can't work. My back hurts, my legs ache. I'm only four. <laughs> Life isn't given you on a silver platter, the better. Oh my god! Such a horrible person! I'm going now. Baby, don't watch too much. I was touched by a gift. A four year old kid receives what in today's marketplace is a 40 or 50 dollar piece of milk. Frank, you still spent the next 15 years of your life sitting on your ass watching television. Check the <laughs> room, Joe. I did some stuff. 
I was a baseball player. One year I hit the home run that won the big game. That was the kid on the courtship of Eddie's father. Oh no! He's living through there the TV! That I was running down a hillside. Hey, 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 Fred! Fred! It's Frank! Frank Favorite, Frank. You didn't happen to notice a big Christmas party going on around here. Yes, I did see one, sir. I'm, I'm gonna be right on it. I'm just gonna finish this. Okay. Always oh, on work! Always oh, working! Wow. This is a great idea. No, my mother told me the same thing so I would stop eating Chinese. <laughs> Christmas so much. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. Tell you what. I'll go down for you. Okay. Good idea. Wait. Yes, I'll, I'll wait. Thanks, Lumpy. <gasps> That's why she calls him Lumpy. Aww. Like it office? all makes Just sense right now. now. Young lady. You shop here all the time because if you don't, I can walk on the other side of the street. What can we open, Denise? You can open one on Christmas Eve. That's what we always did in my family. You have to wait until Christmas morning to open this. Isn't that what you did? Well, that's what we did. Spoil. We opened it the night before. Well, you want to open this one? Oh, they look so happy together in his little turtlenecks. Oh, nice. <laughs> selfish, you know? Maybe if you could put my needs and the needs of the Frisbee show ahead of your own needs. I mean, I have been fighting for... That was so uncalled for! I'm sorry. I guess I didn't realize how important it is to you. Maybe we should separate for a while. Excuse me? Estelle, yeah? when is that limo leaving? Oh, right after the show. You know how he is. For a while, and See how it goes. I mean, I, I know you've been under a lot of pressure. Oh, man. Well, it's been rough. So that's how it went, huh? But, but, it's not all his fault. She just left. That wasn't even the worst thing. Like, of course he's gonna want to take the opportunity. You know? Wow. Merry Christmas. Oh no, and he's how did he give blood? Is he drunk or is he just drained? Literally. You had to go somewhere and get your head together or something. Well maybe my head is just fine. Check it out! It's right here where it belongs. 
What's the point? It's lonely at the top? It's not lonely. <laughs> Is he conscious? No. Okay. Time to steal. Can you go? Yeah, see, it doesn't feel nice, does it? Take the rest of your life. I'm gonna give you some advice, Claire. Scramble off. You wanna save somebody? Save yourself. Oh, well, that's a wonderful attitude to have on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. How about when you dumped him? <gasps> ah! <laughs> In his footsteps. Young lad. Bah, how bad. So I can eat my plate. Herman, I blew it all on Liz. There's a sucker inside. Nice. The last dress we rang. Man, baby. Oh, it's him. Oh, we were so worried about you. Are you okay? Everybody was worried sick, huh? You all right? Listen, I call the meal breaks around here. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry. Look, if it means that much to you, I'll call everybody back. You can tell them it's time to go to dinner. Hey, everybody, hold on a minute. Frank's got something to say to you. He is just it. Preston asked me to stop by for a drink, so if you don't mind. He is just stealing all of his work and stuff. Oh, it looks like it's time for the second ghost to appear. Since when? Since what? <laughs> oh wow. Get a man to follow her lead, you know. No, you close your eyes. Oh, no. I'm through. Don't close up. Close your eyes. And think of snowflakes and moonbeams. Yes, that is everything he th thinks about. <laughs> she is the one that's gonna give him a beezing. How unusual. <laughs> How lovely is she? <laughs> She's the type to really <laughs> knock him on his butt. They're stalking. Black, but I 
thought it was a fashion thing. I mean, people were wearing black, you know. Next stop is downtown. Sounds really wrong. with her she's got a magically strong skull And he's back all of a sudden? <laughs> that lady's just at it today. A costume. <laughs> it's just a costume. <laughs> he looks disconcerned. Is that a word? Did I just make it up? though I'm sure he'll be coming around by the end of this holy shit those TVs got some pretty good damn 3d he's about to become 40 though oh boy. No, 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 no. 
Merry you just interrupted Christmas. the work of the spirits. Uh oh. Would you give me a running start? Sure. 1001, 1002, 1003. Oh my god. My name is. Woo! Christmas future oh, might come a bit <laughs> that was so great the end of thing. Oh my god. Did our people do that? I gotta get phone calls. <laughs> oh god, that looks just like a nightmare that I had. in an asylum if you just can't speak that's out uh, that's everything I'm all over this. Don't worry about it. it's so much more physical like cars elevators you know That elevator is going to be really busted. It ain't Disneyland. Wendy? Oh no. James. My brother. He's dead. Why did this have to happen? They always think it's the relative. Or someone else. Then who's in the coffin? Why the hell did you bother to show me this stuff? James, stop This is the future. Jimmy, don't let it burn me! Please don't let it burn me! is much more brutal he's actually gonna burn alive i mean that ought to teach him a lesson but it's like sadistic dialed okay well it did the job fast <laughs> it did the job fast We're gonna have some fun together. Oh, ho, ho. amazing.
<laughs> oh, he's so happy. Don't touch that dial and stay out. What's your name, son? Mike. Mike, say hello to your folks. He's just got arm the soul there. Psychological damage. Can you get me to the IPC building in three minutes? Which floor? Oh, he lifted everybody's spirits. He's about to be a famous man. Too. Not just Christmas. Yes! And that's one thing you want to get greedy for.
Hopefully. <laughs> but I don't doubt it. Oh. And everyone's happy. And now they're singing. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll put the reindeer ears on. Screw it. Yes. Oh. Even he joined in! <laughs> oh. The best ending of the segment, to be honest. Oh. Let's hear the real man! Go on! Put a little love in your heart. <laughs> Put a little love in your heart. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> that was actually such a nice ending. What the hell? Hey, I love that. You just broke the fourth wall. That was amazing. Oh my god. Despite all the adversities that I suffered for throughout this movie, this might have been just the... Uh, there was some stuff happening throughout, okay? My headphones stopped working, the ear earphones, I had to take my lovely reindeer ears off. I had to put these huge things on. And uh, then Denny was destroying everything. <sighs> but was it worth it is the big question. I think it was very nice. I think that, uh, you know, it's, it was just like, you know, like a Christmas Carol's parody, but it had its sweet moments. It had its own thing, you know, it took a Christmas Carol and it did it in another way. And it was sweet. It was funny. It was sweet. It was, it was good. I really liked it. The humor was nice. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it as well, watching me react. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.